Okay, so here we are, back with the second part of a double upload, especially after the first upload really messed up here. And I apologise for that. It wasn't really my fault, but I mean, it could have been. Maybe I should have double checked the microphone. But it, like I said in the video, I could hear myself coming back. So the microphone was working, it was recognised, but uh, it just wasn't recording it. But, you know, no point messing about. Let's get two more years into the future. Let's see if they've improved. And here we are a second later. It's amazing what you can do in a second, because I just had my first ever driving lesson. So that's cool. I might vlog about that sometime. Probably not. But here we are in the year 2023 with Cardiff at Uni with Wayne Allison still on an amateur contract. He does have a Continental Pro license now, but he is still not great at all. Um, but as you can see, they won it again, and they've kept on winning it. Um, I'll show you the league first. This is interesting. So TNS have dropped down to fourth. So they were first for ages, and then they dropped to second for a while. Now they're fourth. That's right. Two, t two, the two other professional teams that have appeared in that time have now taken that from them it's too bad it'll be amazing like TNS are in Europe they did beat Connors Key um, in the European playoffs but yeah sort of just kind of dominating Cardiff Cardiff Met are just dominating it and the other teams are starting to become more like they'll never be as good as them but they're getting there alright well first things first the schedule um, oh, they played at the Tony Macaroni Arena. It's the best name ever. And they won 3-0. Uh, so they played Cliftonville again. Beat them. Got Berg. And they got revenge for Copenhagen for knocking them out a few years ago. Uh, they got... Sp they lost to Sporting. Drew with Bayern at home. In front of 74,500 people at the Millennium Stadium. That is impressive. Um... And then they actually beat Liverpool with Ben Woodburn and Christian Benteke getting the goals. Of all the people to score, that is probably the best that could have happened. But they do have Casper Dolberg now, so not all bad for Liverpool, I suppose. Uh, they then did lose to Liverpool 2-0. Um, drew 0-0 and then lost 2-0 to Bayern Munich and then uh, did not go into the uh, Europa League, so they must have finished bottom. Uh, they won the Nathaniel MG, the JD Welsh, and obviously the Daffabet Welsh Premier League. And then this season, they had a testimonial for Evans, who... Uh, oh, he's in the reserves now. Um, been there a while. Still, like, amateur. Hasn't... When was the last time he played? Oh, he actually played a game in... That, that's impressive. He came as a sub. In 2020-21 season, and got 7.4 after coming on as a sub. In the first season, he played eight times, scored one goal. That is, that's a legend of the club. That is, look at that. That's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. I'm really happy for that guy. <laughs> they lost one 0 to Ajax in testimonial though. Um, but they did beat Linfield, nine nil. Uh, Siroki Brzec. Um, what, 7-1 altogether. Uh, they then beat Rosenborg 5-0. Wow, they're becoming really dominant, they are. Sort of really stepping up. Uh, and then they beat uh, Moscow, lost to Man City, and then lost to Atletico Madrid. Oh, gee, that's a tough group, that is. And then they drew with Atletico Madrid uh, at the Millennium Stadium. And then... Du, 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 du. I missed it, aren't I? Yeah, they lost to CSKA Moscow 3-1 and then lost 1-0 uh, to Man City. And then, once again, uh, didn't go into the Europa League, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, they beat TNS on penalties to win the Nathaniel MG and beat Bala 3-0 to win the uh, Welsh Cup. Uh, I forgot that comes in as just overall. So, once again, they've just went, they've won the treble again. So, that's ridiculous um, let's have a look at the how many spots they get in Europe now um, one team qualifies for the UEFA Champions League 
One team qualifies Europa League second qualifying, two teams qualify for first qualifying, depending on the winner of the Welsh Cup. Um, duh, 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 duh. You know, you get a bit more money in the league now, so that's pretty handy to have. Um, yeah, seems like it's improving. Let's go to the Welsh Cup now. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, yeah, the final. Yeah, so the winner qualifies for the Europa League. Uh, you, get, you get quite a bit of money for that now as well. Where's that up to? That's up to 89th from quite the way into the hundreds, it seems. The Daffa bet is up to 68th, whereas in 2017 it was 115th. So it is really rising quite rapidly. And that's why I think there's getting more money into the league now. Um, reputations are increasing. Um, look at the facilities. So they're still playing at King Code Campus. Um... Uh, they currently got reduced capacity because uh, they're adding 5,389 seats. Uh, still got state of the art facilities and top youth facilities. The pitch condition is still very good. They still haven't got under soil heating though, so I might want to think about uh, getting that. Go through the transfers. So, the year before, uh, they brought in. Uh, Bazoa from Wolfsburg for up to 32.5. Uh, Son Hyung Min from Tottenham for up to 26. Uh, Vlado Saric from Dinamo for up to 4.9. Uh, George McCulloch from Rangers for up to 1.2. And Carl Walker from Tottenham on a free. He's now at Bordeaux. He only made one appearance for Cardiff. How can the best right back in England only play one game in Wales? That is ridiculous. Uh, Fabregas retired and is just a coach now. Um, yeah, a lot of players going Charlie Austin uh, Wayne Hennessy Patrick Van Arnhol a lot of players who've been here from the beginning of the experiment uh, sort of just leaving on freeze now because uh, I suppose you know sort of a better team I guess um, yeah not really they've only really brought in 2.9 million mostly from okay so they brought in Carl Walker on the 1st of July oh Phone call. Oop. Sorry about that. I will cut that out. Probably not though, because it's more fun that way. What's it? Who's that? Okay. What a random message. Okay. Um, where was I? Oh yes. Let's move on. Um. So jo Joe Hart left. Joe Hart is now at Newcastle. Okay. Uh, Sam Johnson was their number one. He is back at Aston Villa. So that's nice. Uh, Yannick Balassi, who was their key man originally, is now at Antalsa Spore. Uh, Edmilson Fernandez, who came in, is now at Real Sociedad. Harry Maguire is now at Norwich. Uh, Duncan Greenwood went to Watford for a bit. Michael McManus went for 1.1 to Sunderland. So this is the problem with this experiment. A lot of their players aren't worth much. So they brought in, for instance, Tommy Hoban for 14 million. He joined them. He's now only worth 4.5 because of where they rank altogether. Uh, they brought in Ryan Bennett, Ben Davis, Yeni Ungbakato. Ungbakato. This video is really kind of room because of the phone call. So I'm just sort of going for it now. I'm just winging it. Uh, Victor Moses, 32-year-old. Uh, played 21 games for them, but he is injured at the moment. Um, I wonder if they're still winning uh, this thing. Yes, they are. The Scottish League Challenge Cup has been won by Cardiff Met Uni for four years in a row. You kind of got to say that, you know, Wales are becoming a dominant force in Scotland, right? <laughs> uh, no affiliated clubs. Have we done that? If we look at. So at the moment, they can sort of do all of this, but they can't do any of the group stage stuff. But I believe that with the increase, they should be able to. Yeah, so 8th. Oh, no, let's, let's play off with group stages. Yeah, 8,000. So they should be able to do. With the increase, they'll be able to now do that. But. They're normally playing at the. Uh, Millennium Stadium and they sell it out every time and they're not doing it they're not going to do they're not going to make less money 
upgrading their stadium. They might as well build a brand new stadium, but they're just going to keep increasing it. Because it can go up to 30,000 according to the background stats. Um, yeah, I was kind of ruined by the phone call this video, but this is a double upload. Both videos have been rather terrible, and I really apologise. I am really, really sorry. I will make it up to you because next week uh, the experiment is going to be uh, really interesting, the next experiment that I'm planning. But for now, I'll keep it a secret. Uh, like and subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you later.